Okay, here's what you do when you're first uh, setting up your Tyrannus. Step one, make sure your battery is in place. Make sure the uh, connector is good. It's uh, keyed. It's the left-hand connector. Make sure the battery is sitting flat in the bottom and that the wires are tidily out of the way. Next, you want to charge it up. So take the 12 volt to wall wart and just plug that in. And we'll see the LED light turn on to confirm that it charged. Now, before we turn it on, we're going to kind of mess up a couple of the switches and just make sure the throttle's up high. Welcome to Toronto's. Warning. And we'll get to some warnings about that. So we always make sure Switch the throttle is down low and we make sure all the switches are in the default away and down position. Now we've got the main menu here. If we do a fast click on the menu button, we'll get the model selection menu. So we'll press exit. And what we'll do is we'll do a slow click. Basically press and hold. That's a really common uh, menu uh, thing. You have a fast click and a slow click and you want to just get in the habit of doing the right one. Now we're on the radio setup menu. We're going to use the page button and page over to screen 7 and we're going to calibrate uh, the sticks and the pots. So we press enter to start and the first thing we do is we set everything at the midpoint. There's the throttle. We get the pots uh, centered and we get the sliders on the side. You'll feel those uh, just hit uh, the midpoint. Those look good. We press enter. Now it wants us to move all the sticks and the pots for a full range of motion. And now notice that when we first move, it'll kind of jump around and that's when it's got the calibration. So we just move the sticks. We move the pots low we move the sliders forward backwards and then once you've got that initial jump you should see everything is tracking the uh, physical motion once that's done press enter exit out there exit back to your main menu and you're ready to go to the next step